Namaskar. In this video, I will discuss about coronary vasa spasm. In clinical practice, it is often extremely difficult to distinguish between a bout of angina and a major heart attack, especially at the onset of cardiac pain. Nevertheless, it was generally accepted that two different mechanisms, arterial sclerosis and thromboembolism, were responsible. Now, evidence from the University of Pisa, Italy, that strongly indicates that a single underlying mechanism, term coronary vasa spasm, is responsible for both mini and major heart attacks. In coronary vasa spasm, the coronary blood vessels go boom, 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 into partial or complete spasm in response to emotional and psychic tension relayed from the limbic emotional centers of the brain down to the walls of the coronary blood vessels via the hypothalamus and the sympathetic vasoconstrictive nerve fibers leading to the heart. This revolutionary finding suggests strongly that factors of clot formation and arteriosclerotic hardening may be largely postmortem events without major clinical significance in initiating heart pain. Therefore, the prime factor in heart attack and angina appears to be a particularly heavy load of emotional and psychic tension preoccupying the individual just prior to the attack. The capacity of yogic relaxation to alter the emotional and mental climate of the cardiac patient by a combination of relaxation and diversion of attention and to avert incipient angina or impending infarction has not as yet been widely recognized in medical circles, although it was clearly recorded in medical literature over 30 years ago. In 1948, Aaron Friedel, an American cardiologist, recorded that attentive nostril breathing, known in Yoga Nidra as anuloma viloma or psychic nostril breathing, was the most effective, immediate and drug-free means of controlling and alleviating angular pain in cardiac patients. Only now is the significance of Yoga Nidra as a major therapeutic technique for ischemic heart disease emerging. The practice induces a state of deep mental peace and emotional relaxation. It rapidly releases coronary vasa spasm, alleviating anginal pain and averting potential infarction at the time of its onset. The future role of Yoga Nidra in coronary care and management regimes appears to be a major one. The value of the practice of yogic relaxation in prevention of cardiovascular disease has been fairly well recognized and accepted. However, its potential in the relief of acute coronary conditions is now becoming clear as well.